The first, the drivers. Because if that driver wasn't speeding, then maybe that woman wouldn't have died. That's the first thing. The second thing is we need a change of attitude, a change of behavior. Yes, it is true, the city, it's an urban area, but we are now talking about development. We are talking about a three-lane highway, four-lane highways. Um, maybe 20, 10 years ago, even five years ago, I was able to walk across the road easily. But now that has changed. We're talking about a freeway, and there's absolutely no way you want to try and walk across a freeway. If you go right across the border to Mexico, or if you're in the States, I am certain you wouldn't do that. And we have to cherish our lives. You don't want to put any speed bump along, along, along the, the highway, along the freeway. One of the objectives of, that, of, that, of this project is to ensure that we have we, the, the incidence of, of uh, one, accidents are uh, minimized, but also when you look at traffic congestion, you know that the problems we used to have, and even during construction when traffic was backed up all the way to the bridge. If you continue putting speed bumps on the highway, that is exactly what will happen, and then you will not achieve the objectives. But we have sidewalks on both sides, 900 meters of secure sidewalks that pedestrian can walk. I mentioned again, if you used to walk across the street to go to the Chinese store, that is in the past, we're talking about development now. And so you, you have to, the exercise is good, you need to walk the, the 20 meters to the roundabout, and, or you, you, you go to the shop that is on your side. But also we, we see instances where the bus drivers are stopping in the fast lane and having passengers alighting. That should never be. Mm -hmm. So enforcement is needed, but also a change of behavior. So it's either we want to remain at the standards we are or we will build to international standard. And in the interim, people will be, they, they might not, whilst they will accept the development, maybe it might be a little bit inconvenient for them for the time being, but I am certain that we should be able to adjust and live with it because we need to develop this country.